Hello everyone. I believe some days ago, maybe sometime last week or whenever, a word came to my mind, forbearance. If we look up this word, patient, self-control, restraint, and tolerance. I believe that word came to my mind when I was meditating on God or meditating on his word. I believe that is what happened. I think so many people believe that everything in life should be fair. Fair in the sense of if they are doing things right, nothing bad should happen to them. That is not going to happen. Bad things will happen to us. And I am learning. It is not so much about the bad things that are happening to you. Hello. It is about what you choose to do when bad times come. When bad times come, do you begin cussing? Do you begin throwing down the dishes? Do you begin throwing around books? Do you begin to insult that person's mother, their father, their rude brother, so on and so on? Or are you patient? When you do get angry, you choose to stay calm. You don't throw insults like, in a sense, if I am saying this correctly, you stay centered. Let's go back to that word again, forbearance, patient, self-control, restraint, and tolerance. You don't have the right to begin behaving badly because someone has done you wrong. Let's say I chose to cuss you out. Let's say I chose to come to your tires and, or should I say cut your tires? Let's say I uh, went to your mother and told her so many mean and rude things. Yes, I have done bad things to you. Okay. Just because I did wrong things to you, it does not give you a license. You don't have the right hello, to come to me and get revenge. And you may say to me, Uncle Kev, I understand what you are saying, but if I don't do anything to that person, that person may believe that I am weak, that I am a punk, that I am a loser, that they can continue coming to me and doing what is wrong. In a earthly sense, you have a point. But in a spiritual sense, you don't have a point because that person may continue to do wrong things to you, but I believe there is going to be a point to where that person will be repaid for the evil that they have done to you. 
you don't believe me? Okay. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. So what is that saying? If I choose to do what is wrong, bad things are going to happen to me. I am going to be, in a sense, paid back. So I believe that scripture coincides with you reap what you sow. So if someone continues to do wrong to me, I don't have to seek for revenge. I don't have to get even. I don't have to you know, meditate on evil to figure out what bad thing I can do to that person. All I have to do is continue to do what is right. Continue to think about pure things. Continue to think about good things. Meditate on the things of God. Meditate on the good things that are going on in my life. And I believe God will take care of that person. I don't have to do what is wrong back to that person. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Let's go to Philippians chapter four, verse eight. Finally, brethren, finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Choose to think about positive things when bad times come. Just because bad times came doesn't mean you need to be depressed all the time. You need to be sad all the time. No. Choose to think in a positive way and let God handle your enemies. You don't have to combat against anyone. Pray about it. Maybe even fast if you have to. May God bless us.